Hey guys, NSC85. Today I got a small little project to do again. For those of you who follow me on Facebook, you know that I recently got a package from LaRue Tactical. And some of you guessed it was AR parts. And it's definitely an accessory for my AR. You know that uh, I got my Aimpoint Pro. And everyone just kept telling me, you gotta get the LaRue mount, you gotta get the LaRue mount. You gotta get the LaRue mount. So, I got the LaRue mount. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to put it on. How to adjust it and all that stuff so um, real quick though if you guys order from LaRue look at all the cool stuff you get I and mean, I just this is all I ordered the mountain I got a DVD a couple catalogs three copies of the Constitution of the United States some Dillo dust which is a seasoning sugar salt paprika chili pepper celery garlic and Camino Camino I have no idea and then uh, <laughs> the beverage opener it's got like three different ways, screw, pop, it's, that's really cool. So, oh, and then the two bumper stickers as well. Not to mention the other great thing about LaRue Tactical is the return policy. If you ain't happy, we ain't happy, return policy. They pretty much just take it back. There's the rules there. But yeah, they are definitely a really good company. Real quick, I also want to thank uh, my buddy, Mr. Mark McQuay. Here's his information. He has helped me tremendously with all this optic stuff. I've had a lot of questions because, I mean, even I don't know everything. So if you guys have any questions about red dots and stuff like that, there's his phone number and email address there. Make sure and get in contact with him. He's a good guy. Tell him NSC5 sent you. So with that said... Let's go ahead and get this new mount on. So I went ahead and put my upper receiver vice block into my vice, and I made sure that it was level. And then when I put my upper in, this is also level, as you can see here. So now I know when I mount my new mount that everything is going to be nice and flush. Then all I need to do is simply just level the optic. And that's because you don't want it twisted because then your windage and elevation adjustments will be off. So keeping these level is really important. So here's my old mount that came with the aim point, and I'll go ahead and loosen this. So I went ahead and took it off the rifle, and now I need to get the optic out of the mount, and that's just a simple undoing of four bolts or screws. So I'll go ahead and Get these undone and move on to the next step. With the aim point, you gotta take the battery out to get the last screw, but then you just separate the two halves just like that. Now let me talk about this new mount a little bit. If you look at the bottom of the aim point mount, the only secure point is right here and right here, and this is what makes it so it doesn't move back and forth. If you look at my rifle here, there was clearly some back and forth movement right here because some of the anodizing is gone not a big deal but it just shows that it's maybe not the most secure mount which is also the other reason I got the LaRue mount because as you can see it has two secure points which means that when you put it on those go right in between there and it doesn't move at all plus it's a lot smaller too now when you first get this you do have to adjust the tension because it is a quick release so all you do is just undo this and it com comes right back off and then to put it on You just snap this down. Okay. So they give you this little tool. To adjust this. And very small adjustments make a big difference. What you want to do is you want to put it onto your rail. Where you're going to have it. And then... 
it's not attached to anything here it's not putting any pressure on the upper you want it to start applying pressure at about 45 degrees so you just want to adjust this righty tighty lefty loosey turn it right to make this tighter so I have mine set up at 45 degrees then you drive it home okay hopefully that's that's easy enough to understand so on this new mount now I'm just gonna take these out and you do want to apply Loctite to these or thread lock so now that we got that off what I'm going to do here is I'm going to unscrew the elevation knob and we're going to slide this in here take our other half And I'm not going to tighten it down all the way because I still want to be able to move it, but I do want it secure in place. It does say to screw the bottom ones on first. Okay, I'll just leave it there for now because what we need to do is place the level. So now we got everything level, we'll just go ahead and tighten everything down. A good way to tell if you don't have a torque wrench or anything and this is actually how I did it on this one is you grab the short end and if you can't turn it by hand then it's torqued down enough you just go until you can't turn it anymore with your two fingers on the short end then you know it's just fine it's not too tight so we got that mounted we'll go ahead and screw the caps back on here there we are there's the mount all secure. Get a good look at it there. And this locks as well so it can't can't come open. Hopefully this video was helpful guys. Any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave a comment or shoot me a PM. I'm really good about getting back. So have a good day. See you later.